Hello everyone, today I will be showing you a guide that will teach you how to spawn objects anywhere, anytime in Breath of the Wild. I'm going to try to make this guide as simple and easy as possible as it is not really that hard. First off, you are going to need an SD card. Any size will work as you will not be needing any large files for this guide. So here, I have my SD card completely empty. Your SD card does not have to be empty. If you have already homebrewed your Wii U before, then you're good to go. But for starters, any of you who want to homebrew your Wii U, homebrewing your Wii U is not that hard and it cannot damage your system, or at least not what we're going to be doing today. So in the link below in the description is a zip folder on my Google Drive. That folder has everything you need for this. <clears throat> well, it, it, it does have everything you need, I'm pretty sure. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a folder on your SD card and name it Wii U if you already don't. It has to be just like this because, I mean, it has to be like that. Otherwise, the Wii U won't read it. Now, do not make sure that your SD card's name is not Wii U, because if it is, then the Wii U will not read it. <clears throat> now, you're going to take the contents of that Google Drive folder that I linked you to, and you're going to open it. Inside, you're going to see a folder called Files. Open up Files, and you're going to see <clears throat> a couple things in here. You're going to see a Wii U folder which is literally what we just created on our SD card. And then you're going to see JGeckoU. Now this is important. First we're going to go into Wii U and we're going to move the apps folder into the Wii U folder on our SD card. Just wait for it to load. Now inside of the apps folder is the homebrew launcher, which is necessary for you to load the homebrew launcher on your Wii U. And then we have TCP Gecko. Now this is a very specific version of TCP Gecko. This is the only thing that's going to allow us to use cheat codes in Breath of the Wild or any game in particular. Once it's done copying, that's pretty much all you have to do on your SD card. Simple as that. Now. You may want to take JGeckoU and place it somewhere on your computer. I wouldn't recommend placing it on your desktop as it has to create a bunch of subfolders on your desktop in order to store the codes that you have saved. Now, we are going to take the SD card out of your PC and insert it into your Wii U. I'm doing it right now. Now before we do this, you need to go on your Wii U. We're going to switch over to Wii U now. Now, we are on a website. This website exploits the Wii U's browser in order to use in order to launch Homebrew from the SD card. This website is www.loading.ovh. I will link it in the description below, but you must enter this on your Wii U after you insert the SD card with the files on it. Now, it's going to give you a bunch of options. And this is the easiest way to do this. But the default option is Homebrew Launcher 1.3. You don't want to mess with anything. Just hit Submit. It gave me an error code because my internet is out. But it would send you guys to the Homebrew Launcher. Now, after you have loaded that website and clicked Start, you will be loaded into the Homebrew Launcher. Now, please note that sometimes the homebrew launcher will not load. Your console might freeze in the middle of it trying to load the homebrew launcher. Don't worry. This cannot damage your Wii U in any way. It is just an incorrect RAM. It just loads the RAM incorrectly, 
and it freezes. All you got to do is hold down the Wii U's power button, restart the system, and try again. Now you will see an option that says TCP Gecko slash TCP Gecko elf. You will want to either use a Wii remote to point at it and select it, but I recommend you use your gamepad and tap on it and load it. When it loads, a screen will appear that says press A to install TCP Gecko or press X to install with Cosmo Courtney's code handler. We are going to press X. Pressing X will return us back to the Wii U menu. From here, we will load up Breath of the Wild. Now back over on your computer, open the JGecko U file that I gave you. Make sure you have Java installed on your computer as the JGecko U will not work without Java. Down here, you will have an option to auto detect your IP address or manually type it in. If you follow the step that I gave you to go into your browser and manually grab your IP address, then please type it in. But you can turn on auto detect and more than likely JGecko U will automatically search through your Wi-Fi and find your Wii U and automatically connect for you. But that takes a lot longer than typing it in manually, so just do it whatever way you want. I can't personally say which way is better simply because it works differently for different people. So now that we're connected to Breath of the Wild, you may want to jump into a save file because if you don't, sometimes it'll freeze on the title screen because just that's just the way some things work in Breath of the Wild. So I recommend that you wait for the game to fully load, load into a save file, wait until you're in the actual gameplay and you can walk around and then we'll connect it. <clears throat> now I'm going to click connect because my we use IP address is this right now. Sometimes it takes a minute to connect. Or I might be, okay, there we go. It's loaded. Now I already have a bunch of cheat codes that I have added into JGeckoU, but I can assure you that yours will be empty. So you're probably asking, where on earth do we get these cheat codes? Where do we get, where do, how do we spawn stuff into the game? Well, I have two websites open. Okay. Well, there's one more website. I will link all of these websites in the description so you guys can, you know, <clears throat> so you guys can do it all yourself. It's not that hard. So the first website that you're going to want to go to is this Pastebin website. This Pastebin website has a really, really long code. You're going to need to copy this. Yes, copy this, this entire thing. You don't need to worry about any of these below it. You just need to copy this, all of that, right there. It seemed like a lot, but you're gonna copy that. Open up JGeckoU, click Add Code, and paste the code into this field. Sometimes codes will be read because there is a space down here. If the space is here, all you gotta do is hit backspace, and it should do that. This first code. I recommend you name it master. This is the master code. If you do not have this code, you will not be able to spawn any objects, but I don't need to add it because I already have a master code enabled, which is right here. Right now, I'm going to send this master code to the Wii U, and it'll say that it sent it cor correctly. Now nothing's going to happen on the Wii U until we find a code to spawn. So you're probably asking, where do we get the objects? How do we get the codes to spawn anything we want? Well, the second website you're going to want to go to is this one. This website lists every single object that you can possibly spawn in Breath of the Wild. Each object has a file name. This is the file name. Now, some objects have words before them, such as, let's find an example. Like this one says, bird egg. You do not need to copy this or that. You only need to copy this. So let's copy that. Now the third website is where you convert 
the file names of the items and objects into actual insertable code. Now, this is the part that gets a little more complicated. <clears throat> this part allows you to write a script with that item name. So, for instance, if we type in spawn and then we put this in parentheses, make sure that it has quotes like this, make sure it's formatted exactly like this. It should already have an example up there so you can replace it. Make sure that it's like that. Now, you're going to want to double click that and paste your code like I did in there, and you're going to click convert to cafe code. The code might not look like it changes, but it does. So you're going to copy this. Copy that. Head back over to jgeckou, click add code. Paste the code in there and title it whatever you want. I'm going to name it bird egg because it's a bird egg. Now, all of these are spawnable objects that I've already added, but at the very bottom, we should see bird egg. Now, let's go back to Breath of the Wild. Now, here we are on Breath of the Wild. We already added our bird egg code, so now all we gotta do is click send, and a bird egg should spawn, but it broke because, it, well, it fell. But you get the point. You get how it works. Now I'm going to give you some more examples of how you can change the scripts a little bit. For instance, let's say we wanted to spawn 30 bird eggs. Well, you would, right here, where I have this cursor at, you would type 30, no, well not 20. I mean, we could go with 20, but let's go with 30. 30, comma, and then put a space. This is what you need. Now we are going to click convert. And then copy that. We're going to click add code and paste it. I've already pasted it. It was off the screen. And then 30 eggs. Now make sure that you uncheck any codes. You cannot spawn two things at once. It will not work. It simply will not let you. So make sure you uncheck something and check the thing you want to spawn because don't get frustrated when it, something won't spawn then only only to realize that you already had something checked so don't do that so now let's head back over to breath of the wild so here we are and i'm going to send that code and there's well 30 bird eggs and wow some of them, most of them didn't break i'm surprised unfortunately i had more video to show you after this but for some reason my phone stopped recording and didn't record the rest but I had a lot of examples I spawned a couple guardians I spawned I tried to spawn horses in the desert that didn't work too well they just disappeared but I mean I hope you get the point of the video I hope you guys understood I tried to take my time I hope the video wasn't too long if you guys want more videos like this if you guys want more guides on how to do things with the Wii U then I I will gladly do that when I have the time. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry for the crappy quality. That is because I do not own a capture card as of now. I recently just got my gaming headset, and that's what I'm using to record the microphone right now. That's what I'm using for sound. It's pretty decent, so don't hate on the quality. Don't don't do none of that. I I don't have it, the money to buy YouTube stuff. I'm currently trying to get that stuff, but I, I, I want to produce content, and, you know, I just can't right now, guys. So, thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this. Um, the websites that I are linking in the description, that I am <laughs> linking in the description, um, they will have more details on some more of the scripts that you can perform. Um, you can get in touch with the creators of the codes if you want to, and I will have a link to my... Um, website. I have a website that actually has a bunch of codes on it for Breath of the Wild that are different than this because in JGECO you, you can add a multitude of codes but don't worry these codes will work alongside of the spawn objects code so don't worry about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will make another guide on something different if you guys want me to just leave a comment. Thank you for watching.